So today we're going to be reviewing Informs, Latko, Junozovic, plays for Werder Bremen in the Bundesliga, he's 5 foot 8 tall, right footed, he's got high high work rate, 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 96 stamina, 94 agility, 93 balance, 82 curve and 81 short pass. We've also included all the upgrades from his non-inform as a comparison for you so you can see each individual stat increase of each stat. So you can always pause the video for a close look at any of his stats now. So this is the team we were using in for Junozovic in, a 4-3-3 Austrian team with Junozovic playing there in the middle at Cam. So now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. So looking at his card, he actually does look pretty handy and seems like a well-rounded player. And that is the case in game as well. Very versatile in midfield. Does have decent pace as well. Is decent enough and does actually feel pretty nippy. Not too bad pace wise. Dribbling is not bad at 78, but his big plus is his amazing 94 agility and 93 balance, which does make him so good at carving through defences. Using his agility and balance, you can just jink in and out of defenders. He's got great evasive skills, and you can just keep going and going with the jinking through the defenders. Obviously this will get you into a lot of dangerous attacking positions. Then you can exploit other parts of his game. He's got decent passing as well. So he's pretty decent at picking out his man. Decent creatively. And he does find himself in a hell of a lot of shooting opportunities as well. With that ability to jink in and out of defenders. A lot of the times he does open up a lot of shooting chances for himself. But his shooting unfortunately it is a bit hit and miss. A lot of shots were going astray, but when he gets on target, he can get some decent finishes. I don't really think his shot has been boosted enough for him to be really prolific in front of goal. But he still can get the goals, as you'll see in the clips. Got quite a few goals for our team. You just have to use his evasive skills to get into better positions to give you that better chance to finish. And I was not disappointed at all with his shooting. Just don't expect to be smashing in every shot from range and anywhere on the pitch. Also saying that, he did get this long ranger. Though he did catch it perfectly. Nice cracking shot to launch the ball into the back of the net. To be honest, I've got to tell you, this was the only long range effort. He did get on target. So he was really lucky with this long shot. He won't be really well for getting your long range shots on a regular basis. It was a bit of luck with that one. Now he does have high high work rates so we will be up and down the pitch a lot. But does have his 96 stamina to cope so he's not going to be getting too knackered. And one of his best goals was this free kick. 26 yards out. Cracks it in. Unsavable shot. In off the post. Even with a man on the line, he couldn't still keep this free kick out. So, great free kick on him, just like in real life. Junozovic is cracking on free kicks, so I really think his free kick should be boosted higher. But, still can slot him in. So, let's have a look at Infor Junozovic's performance stats. So, in seven games, he did actually get seven goals and three assists. All stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map shows you where goals are scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're giving Ivan Janosevic a great 9 out of 10. Love using him. Great player with his agility and his balance. Does make him such a fun player to use. You do get carried away a bit when you're jinking in out of defenders. You just keep going and going with him. Does have great versatility though. So can be used at a CDM, CM or CAM. Would do great in either of them positions. High high work rates means he's going to be up and down the pitch all the time. As we said, does have the stamina though. Hopefully there are more informs to come from Zinovic. May even sneak into the Bundesliga team of the season with a bit of luck. Is a great player for Werder Bremen this year. Is a bargain as well. Price range is 10 to 20k. So great cheap player. So overall we're just going to leave you with info on Zinovic's positives and negatives. So I highly recommend you go out and try him. Get Zinovic. Get him in a Bundesliga team. Get him in an Austrian team. Just get him in a team. Make sure you try him out. He is definitely one to try out. A cheapo one as well. So I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Go out and try him. Real cracking little player to use. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow the channel as much as we can. We try to do the most in-depth reviews as well. Loads more to check out. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers lads. See you later.